As Queen Elizabeth II celebrated the 70th anniversary of ascending to the throne, she made a major announcement regarding the future of the British monarchy. When her eldest son, Prince Charles, becomes king, his wife Camilla will become queen consort. Many people didn't think that the Duchess, formerly Camilla Parker Bowles, would ever be called queen. For one, it was announced when she and Charles married in 2005 that she wouldn't be going by the titles Princess of Wales and Queen Consort, out of sensitivity for the late Princess Diana, since her death was still fresh on everyone's mind. Another reason was Queen Elizabeth, who, as a royal source told Us Weekly, was, quote, skeptical about Camilla when she married Charles. As the head of the Church of England, which doesn't allow divorced persons to remarry, the Queen's skepticism may have been rooted in her religious beliefs as well. Charles and Camilla had to marry in a civil union, and Elizabeth did not attend. However, over the years, Camilla and the Queen have gotten past their differences, and their relationship has drastically improved. The timing of the announcement may indicate that the Queen is looking both to the past and the future. Robert Lacey, a royal historian, told the BBC that, with how fresh Prince Philip's death is for the Queen, she has been thinking about the importance of a partner and a consort to her, and how important it will be for Charles to have the same kind of support. The same royal source told Us Weekly that Camilla and the Queen spend ample time together planning Zoom chats while they drink tea. But royal sources report that Camilla has done more than just win over the Queen. Supposedly, others within the family appreciate the support she provides Prince Charles. For him, this is a dream come true. After all, his infatuation with Camilla began before his marriage to Princess Diana and lasted throughout. All Charles has seemingly wanted is to share his life with the person he loves. The public, too, has warmed to Camilla. Her polling is up among Britons, and the BBC notes that the Duchess has been praised for how dedicated she is to such causes as literacy, animal welfare, and helping survivors of domestic abuse. She even brought attention to the murders of Sarah Everand and Sabina Nessa while telling men that they needed to be on board to fight the culture of sexual violence. Victoria Howard, editor of The Crown Chronicles, told the BBC, "...many people will have seen the good work the Duchess of Cornwall has done over the years. Her loyalty, her discreet nature, and the hard work she puts in, I think many people were pleased to see this." Camilla spent the morning of February 10, 2022 in London with survivors of sexual assault and support staff to mark Sexual Abuse and Sexual Violence Awareness Week. Then she headed to Nourish Hub, a community kitchen where she helped prepare meals. While she was out in public, she was asked about her feelings regarding the Queen's announcement of her future title. She replied, "...I feel very, very honored and very touched." When the Queen made her announcement, she left no doubt about whether she approved of the Duchess. She said in a statement, "...when, in the fullness of time, my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me, and it is my sincere wish that, when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service." It's clear the Queen is looking to the future and smoothing the path to the reign of her eldest son. Prince Charles, who is currently isolating following his second bout of COVID-19, broke his silence about Camilla becoming Queen Consort. He said in a statement, "...we are deeply conscious of the honor represented by my mother's wish. As we have sought together to serve and support Her Majesty and the people of our communities, my darling wife has been my own steadfast support throughout." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite news stories are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.